Hey kids, today our session is all about the beloved film Finding Nemo. Get ready to dive into an incredible underwater adventure with Nemo and his friends. In addition to enjoying the film Finding Nemo, we have an exciting opportunity to learn some fascinating facts about two animals that are featured in the movie. All right, it's time to dive into the film. Let's begin our experience together. Dad, maybe while I'm at school, I'll see a shark. I highly doubt that. Have you ever met a shark? No, and I don't plan to. How old are sea turtles? Sea turtles? I, I don't know. Sandy Plankton from next door, he said that sea turtles said th th they live to be about 100 years old. Well, you know what? If I ever meet a sea turtle, I'll ask him. After I'm done talking to the shark, okay? Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, wait to cross. Hold my fin, hold my fin. Dad, you're not gonna freak out like you did at the petting zoo, are you? Hey, that snail was about to charge. Hmm, I wonder where we're supposed to go. Bye, Bye, Bye. I'll pick you up after school. Come on, you guys, stop it. <laughs> Get it back. Come on, we'll try over there. <laughs> Excuse me, is this where we meet his teacher? Well, look who's out of the anemone. Yes, shocking, I know. Marty, right? Marlin. Wow. Dead. Bill. Hey, you're a cloudfish. <laughs> you're funny, right? Hey, tell us a joke. Well, actually, that's a common misconception. Clownfish are no funnier than any other fish. Ah, uh, come on, Cloudy. Yeah, do something funny. Yeah. Oh, all right, I, I know one joke. <laughs> um, there's a mollusk, see, and, and he walks up to a seat. Well, he doesn't walk up, he swims up. Well, actually, the mollusk isn't moving. He's in one place, and then the sea cucumber, well, they are mixed up. There was a mollusk and a sea cucumber. None of them were walking, so forget that I Sheldon, said Sheldon, get out of Mr. Johansson's yard now! Oh, All right, you kid. Ooh, uh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where, where'd you go? Dad, Dad, can I go play too? Can I? I would feel better if you'd go play over on the sponge beds. <gasps> That's where I would play. What's wrong with this fan? He looks funny! Ow! Hey, what'd I do? What'd I do? Be nice. It's his first time at school. He was born with it, kids. We call it his lucky fin. Dad, see this tentacle? It's actually shorter than all my other tentacles. But you can't really tell, especially when I twirl them like this. I'm H2O intolerant. <laughs> I'm obnoxious! Oh, let's name the zones, the zones, the zones. Let's name the zones. Hey, kids. Look at this incredible creature gliding through the water. Can anyone guess what it is? It's a ray fish, right? Let's all say it together, children. R-A-Y, ray, F-I-S-H, fish, ray fish. All right, this remarkable creature is a ray fish. Rays belong to a group of fish known for their flat bodies and unique wing-like fins. Did you know that rays have some fascinating characteristics? Rays have a long, whip-like tail, often armed with venomous spines for self-defense. Can anyone think of another interesting fact about rays? Exactly. Rays are closely related to sharks and belong to the same class of fish called elasmobranchs. They share some similarities, such as cartilaginous skeletons and specialized gill slits. Now, let's talk about where rays can be found. Any guesses? Well done. Rays can be found in various aquatic habitats, including oceans, seas, rivers, and even freshwater lakes. They are incredibly adaptable. Can anyone tell me what rays eat? Absolutely. Rays are carnivorous and have a diverse diet. Some species feed on small fish, crustaceans like crabs and shrimp, and others even dine on mollusks like clams and snails. Can you think of another interesting fact about rays? Great observation. Many ray species have remarkable camouflage patterns on their backs, allowing them to blend in with their surroundings. This helps them hide from predators and ambush their prey. Now let's appreciate the beauty of rays and continue exploring the fascinating world of marine life. Of the open sea. It's a ray! Come on, Nemo! 
Whoa, you better stay with me. Epilogic, Master Pelagic, Bathyorpus, Pelagic, all the rest are too deep for you and me to see. Huh, I wonder where my class has gone. <laughs> oh, there you are. Come aboard, explorers. All knowledge exploring is oh so lyrical when you think thoughts that are empirical. Focus, dude. Dude. Oh. oh, he lives. Hey, dude. Oh. What happened? Oh, I saw the whole thing, dude. First you were all like, whoa. And then we were all like, whoa. And then you were like, whoa. What are you talking about? Hey there, kids. Take a moment and look at this wonderful creature right here. Can any of you tell me who it is? That's right. This wonderful creature is indeed a turtle. Okay, children, let's all come together and practice that word. T-U-R-T-L-E, turtle. Good job, guys. Actually, turtles and tortoises may seem similar, right? In our previous video, we discussed tortoises. Now let's compare turtles and tortoises and continue our session. Turtles are fascinating reptiles, but they differ from tortoises. Can anyone think of any differences between turtles and tortoises? Absolutely. One key difference is that turtles are adapted to live both on land and in water. They have webbed feet and streamlined shells that make them excellent swimmers. On the other hand, tortoises are land-dwelling creatures. Can anyone think of another difference? Spot on. Turtles have flatter and more streamlined shells, which help them move through the water more efficiently. Tortoises, on the other hand, have high-domed shells that provide protection from predators. Now, let's talk about where turtles can be found. Any guesses? Great observation. Turtles can be found in a variety of habitats, including oceans, lakes, rivers, and even swamps. They have adapted to different aquatic environments. Tortoises, on the other hand, can be found in dry terrestrial environments. Can anyone tell me what turtles eat? Absolutely. Turtles have varied diets depending on their species. They can be herbivores, omnivores, or even carnivores. Tortoises, on the other hand, are mainly herbivores and feed on plants and vegetation. Can you think of another interesting fact about turtles? Well done. Turtles have specialized adaptations like webbed feet and strong limbs that make them excellent swimmers. They can gracefully navigate through water. Tortoises, on the other hand, have sturdy, elephant-like legs that are adapted for walking on land. Now, let's appreciate the beauty of turtles and continue exploring the movie we were watching. You, Miniman, taking on the jellies. You got serious thrill issues, dude. Oh, <laughs> awesome. Oh, oh, my stomach. Oh. Oh, man. Hey, no hurling on the shell, dude, okay? Just waxed it. So, Mr. Turtle. Whoa, dude. Mr. Turtle is my father. Name's Crush. Crush? Really? Okay, Crush. Listen, I need to get to the East Australian Current. EAC. Oh, dude. <laughs> You're riding it, dude! Check it out! Okay, grab shell, dude! Grab what? All right, kids, that's it for now. Let's meet in another video to learn about more animals. Bye-bye, children. Remember to be good, curious learners.